and welcome to my new demonstration video. I am Dr. Ghaffar Kiani, an associate professor in the field of electronics engineering. Today in this video, I will explain how to measure the dielectric constant of any material. For today's measurement setup, we will be using energy saving glass and the ordinary glass to measure its dielectric constant. So for this particular method, we are using a multimeter which is capable of measuring the capacitance between the two parallel plates. For this system, I have created two samples. These are basically two parallel plates which we will be using. These have been created using the wooden blocks. The size is from here to here, it's a square one. The size is 19 centimeter by 19 centimeter. And we have inserted or we have pasted aluminum on one side. And they are basically both uh, same. They have the both have the same size. So by putting them just parallel to each other like this, and then by inserting our material within we can calculate the capacitance and from that capacitance we can use the formula which is now being shown on your screen where A is the area of the plates and D is the distance. Distance means that this is the basically the thickness of our material. Uh, in this video as I said that we will be measuring the dielectric constant for these two sample glass uh, one is the ordinary glass with 4 millimeter thickness and the other one is the energy saving glass which has the 6 millimeter thickness. So let me show you how to measure the dielectric constant using this capacitance method. So here is the measurement setup. I have inserted the ordinary glass which has the thickness of 4 millimeters in between the two parallel plates which are basically connected through these cables. This uh, aluminum sheet has been connected from both sides to the precision multimeter. We have set up the multimeter to measure the capacitance in between these two plates. And in this case, this capacitance is uh, 0.409 or 0.41 nanofarad. Uh, one thing can be noticed here that there is a slight fluctuation in the value. And this might be the reason, one of the reasons could be that these plates, because we have to push them hard so that there is no air in between these two. But if we have a look at the value, this is ending up at 0.42, about 0.42 nanofarad. So after we measured this capacitance value, the formula is already shown before. In the formula, we have to put the value of C, the other values are known. So the two known values are, now for us, is the capacitance from this meter, and also we know the thickness is four millimeters. So by putting these values in the formula, we can calculate the dielectric constant of this particular material. Now in the next step, I will insert the energy saving glass which has a coating on one side. It is also in glass, but let's see what capacitance value we are getting. In this case, we are getting a value of, as I said, about 4.0.443, or it's a little bit fluctuating. As I said, there is some air gaps could be there, but it is around 0.424345. So 0 0.42 to 0 0.45, that's the value, so the average can be 0 0.43. So now let me show you what value we get from the energy saving glass, which has a coating on one side. Now I have inserted energy saving glass within the two parallel plates. As I said before, energy saving glass has a coating on one side, which is metal, which is basically to save energy. It is resistance to heat. Uh, if we look at the value for capacitance for this particular glass, the value is 
0.35 or 0.36 nanofarad, which is quite less than the glass which we had before. This glass is 6 millimeters, so D, the value of D is 6 millimeters, and the capacitance is actually varying, which is about, it is about 0 0.39 to 0 0.4, uh, which is quite less. And, and I, as I said, the fluctuation is because maybe the, there is an air in between. However, the harder we press and try to take the air away, we can see the value is getting around 0.39 to 0.4, which is a little bit less than what we got in the ordinary glass. So by putting these two values, the D, the distance between the plates, which is basically the thickness of the material, and the capacitance which we are measuring from here, which is about 0.41 nanofarad, which is fluctuating a little bit, we can calculate the dielectric constant of this material. And in our case, we are doing it in advance because in the upcoming research, we are fabricating uh, aperture type FSS, frequency selective surfaces, we will etch in the coating. So we should know what is the dielectric constant for this particular sample, so that when we do the simulation in CST Micro Studio or NCSH FSS, we exactly know what is the value, so that our theoretical and the measured values do not uh, show a too much difference. So in this video, I explained you how to calculate the dielectric constant of a material using the capacitance method and how to measure the capacitance using this parallel plate capacitor method. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have liked this video, then please consider subscribing to my channel and share and like the video. Until the next video, goodbye.